Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. Last time we left off, we had a bit of a chit-chat around the campfire. Spoke with this chap, Levy Dryden. And we are now at Soldier's Peak, about to have a wee investigation to try and clear the Dryden's name. But this is an old warden's base camp, so hence Horston has a bit of interest in this uh, area. We gander up the. No, we won't have a wee gander up the hill because we can't go up the damn hill. Ah. Wait a minute. Dead bodies! Fall back! Fall back already! Taking the peak will not be easy, my lord. I gave the Wardens one chance to die with honor. Instead, they hold up like cowards. We follow the King's advice, then. Starve them out. But the Peak has months of supplies. Then we wait. When they are too weak to lift their weapons, we will send them to their final judgment. Well, the old starvation tactic, eh? What was that? Felt a bit woozy there. I'm not mad, am I? You saw it too. I've heard an Orlesian ballad about something like this. A beauty trapped in a dream. In the song, Belisa never wakes up. Your prissy friend here is making me nervous, Warden. <laughs> How's this even possible? The place must truly be haunted. Well, let's just move on and forget we ever saw it. Yes, Warden. Bloody ballads and songs. Is she bloody off her rocker? Oh, look out! We have trouble ahead! <laughs> hey, time for action! Take a bit of this! Oh. Oh. Big handout blow! Up oh, the more up the hill! Come on! Oh! Getting hit by magic attacks! Knock him over! Kill my acolyte! Oh. Is that it? The sack has sensed more! Come on! Down the hill! to enter the party. Flaming Nora. The History of Soldiers B. Chapter 1. What is this? Learn more about the history of Soldier's Peak. You've recovered some of the history of the base of Soldier's Peak. There may be more to learn, and perhaps you should seek it out. How long is this? Not very long. Okay, the Grey Warden base at Soldier's Peak was built in the middle of the Glory Age, several decades after the Second Blight was ended. Before then, Grey Wardens in Ferelden would take up residence in castles and forts that belonged to generous nobles. Warden Commander Gaspar Asturian desired a fortified headquarters where his forces could train and live. He planned that Soldier's Peak would be a city unto itself. The defeat of the Darkspawn and the Archdemon Zazakil was fresh in the minds of the Ferelden people, and many were willing to donate gold to build Commander Asturian's fortress. And Soldier's Peak was fully completed within ten years, and dedicated to the Maker in 934 glory. Good old brother Geneviti and his chronicles continue. Oh, 
Okay. I think we've covered the grounds outside, guys. Let's uh, head on inside and see what's in store. Okay. The men's morale is what? low. My spells are of no use in this matter, Commander. There is more to leading men than sorcery, Avernus. I will remind them that they're wardens. Men! Oh. I won't lie to you. What is this? The situation is grim. Our forces outnumbered, our bellies empty, and our hearts are sagging. But we are wardens! Darkspawn flee when they hear our horns. Archdemons die when they taste our blades. So are we to bend knee to a mere human despot? No! I, for one, will never give up! I, for one, will never surrender just to dance on Arlen's gallows. So I propose here and now, in these hallowed halls where generations of our brethren stood vigil against darkspawn and evil, that we send a message to that fat bastard. In this sacred place, proud men, strong men, stood defiant and would rather die than submit to tyranny. Oh, quite a speech, lady. So brave, even when starving. And my great-great-grandmother stood with them. Well... I can't believe the king attacked the Grey Wardens. It's quite unbelievable, really. Everyone knows they were banished, but to murder them like that. King Arlen must have been a monster. But I've gabbed enough. Lead on, my friend. Gabbed enough indeed. Right. First of all, there's some glitterati here. Statement of defiance. On these grounds, virtuous men stood against a tyrant. They stood defiant and stood for freedom, and they died. It is signed by the Grey Warden defenders who were besieged by King Arlen's forces. Let us honour these people. Captain Mello, the Black Ferret, Chef Roa Lopez, <laughs> Sir Derek of Orlay, and Jason the Longbow. Alan the Quibbler, Cartography Martyr, Dave of this island, Dustin the Colourblind, Ebinger of Bovine Brethren, Farrell of the Feral, <laughs> Sir Graham the Untiring, and Jason Sons Le Argonaut. Langley the Nefarious, Lucky Lacuna, Mad Dog Smeadows, Matthias the Bloody, McGurk the Vile Priest, Melissa the Magical Malefactor, Om the Stretched, and Pakrat Dirksen. Sergeant Red Morrison, Santos the Silent Skimmeter, Vitriolic Eric, Weak Eye Santos, and Wellborn the Exhaustive Fire. God rest your souls. See, these wardens are of legend, and we too can become a similar. The last two Grey Wardens of Ferelden, Alistair and me, rising an army, raising an army. Seven, oh, what the hell? Oh! What the hell are these things? I've never come across them in my life! Oh, I'm burning! I'm burning! Help me! What the hell were those things? They set me on fire! I've never come across those before! In all my time! The codex was updated of some sort, I have no idea. Oh, arcade horrors, rage, demons and skeletons. Ah. Split mail boots. I'm sure we have some of these already, but never mind. Liliana? 
okay to open this dear oops it is come on Liliana ah, it's done I thank you kindly what a note Plea from Commander Athlar. Soldier speak is more than we bargain for. There is a sinister magic at work here. The men are seeing things and cannot tell nightmares from reality. The fall and return to life and attack again and again, and we are assaulted by dark creatures the likes of which I have never seen. Whoever is responsible is intent on destroying us all. The King's army and the Grey Wardens both. Send help, we cannot last much longer. Hmm, well, I've seen those with my own bloody eyes. Monsters that set you on fire. Quite frightening, if you are a pathetic wimp, of course. But a man of my stature? No, I am not afraid of such things. And Morrigan has leveled up, which I totally forgot about. Morrigan, right, we need to give her something. I think a couple of points in magic and one in willpower should do the trick. Uh, what shall we give her? We can give her cone of cold. Yes, that's pretty good. Should give her attack spells. Do us. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. Don't want to get ambushed. Another letter. Letter from Ban Matthew and Wolf. Sophia Al Ruan and his entire family have been slaughtered. Even the children. The Ruan line is no more, and the Arling belongs to the Crown, and for now. Arland believes Ruan was plotting against him. Ruan criticised the King's spending on Winter's End. That is all. It was an idle word, spoken out of turn. The King goes too far. His brain is filled with madness, and he clings to the Crown like a drowning man clutches at a straw. Sophia, I beg you, help us. If nothing is done, more will suffer. Your humble servant, Wolf. Looks like uh, this king has caused quite a stir in these here parts. Ah, kitchen area. Nothing else in here. Look lively, chaps! We have more trouble! Oh! Ho oh, ho, you don't know who you're dealing with, my friend! Chop him down! Oh, more are coming! My bearings. We have a book here. Archivist's book. The book is badly burned. You can make a word out here and there, but that's it. Right, join me in the next part when we shall continue deeper into Soldier's Peak. See you soon.